Nick Cave into Bad Seeds, Red Right Hand. All right, let's play through all the different sections. I got the bass covered in this too. All right, so I'll just play through everything right off the top here, let you hear it all. Uh, after that, I'll go back through and uh, tell you like what exactly is going on, what I'm doing, every, all that stuff. So uh, before we jump into the song, do the channel a huge favor, hit that subscription button. It'd be much appreciated. Uh, it'd be really cool of you. All right, so let's get on into this Red Right Hand. <laughs> Okay, so some uh, pretty subtle guitar parts in this. Uh, we can interpolate some of the, the cool organ stuff that's happening for guitar, though, so that'll be fun. Um, so initially here, we're just kind of hitting these accent notes, and you want it, uh, you know, pretty clean, but just dumped a bunch of, like, reverb on it and slightly mute these notes. Uh, it, it's played pretty loose. Um, you don't have to have exactly what's going on here. Just kind of, you know, every offbeat, just hit, hitting these notes. And uh, so what we're going to do is just hit a B note here, go start at the 4 on the G. And like I said, just a bunch of reverb on it. Okay, kind of a squawky tone there, and a little bit of like palm muting on it would be nice. And that's essentially what we want to do is these little staccato, short, squawky notes, um, just kind of offbeat in here. Typically, you know, about three of them. up to your discretion how dynamic how loud you want to be with them okay. just short little tiny notes with just a bunch of reverb on them all right so that's like the b uh chord of this uh you want to go through that you know it's a couple measures worth do that about six times um it's a couple without vocal and then about four with the vocal uh you go through that b and then it'll jump up to e so you can just do that here you know, five on the, the B here. Uh, it's a little more controllable that way. Uh, you would go through that about a couple times. Same style. Alright, and then we would go back to the B for a couple of times. Alright, and now once we get, uh, jump up to this F sharp, um, you can get a little busier with it, you know, like it'll do like a couple of sevens here at the B Something like that and you could even sneak in like a little like seven on the E in the midst of that. So something like Okay, just something like that A uh, Couple measures there 
and then just take it down to the five for the E for a couple measures. All right, and then we just get back into that B section. So like I said, pretty subtle, um, finessed guitar going on here. Nothing like super crazy. All right, so let's just uh, do it up to speed now. And as I mentioned, we can get some of these organ sections uh, for guitar pretty nice. Um, so we just come down here. Uh, we're going to be at 2 on the high E here. Okay, we go open, 2, open. Okay, 3B, open E, 3B. Okay, now we go 2, 3, 2 on the B. Okay, hold that a moment and then finish it with a 2 on the G, and then I open B. All right, and this uh, riff here, this whole uh, little scale line, um, we're going to go through it about four times. Okay, so you go that about four times. After the fourth time, we kind of add these little pickup notes into the next section, which would just be open B to 3, and then I open the E. All right, and then it comes up to uh, 5 on the E. And then we uh, pretty quickly go 5, hold that a moment. Then we do 5, 3, 2. Okay, repeat that 5, 3, 2 again quickly. Okay, jump up to 3B, open E, 2, 3, E. This would be like... Okay, and you would hold that three for a moment and then finish it by doing three, two, open on the E to three B. Do that twice. Okay. All right, and after repeating that three, two, open to three B a um, couple times, just add another open E to three B. Okay, so that whole thing would be like... Okay, that last open E to 3B is kind of like a little pickup note back into that first, uh, first section that we did, the first scale, and you would just go through that one more time. Okay. So let's just do this all up to speed now. At the end of the uh, organ solo and at the outro of the song, we get these cool little uh, like organ chord attack things that happen. Um, it just happens twice at the end of the, the solo and it happens four times at the outro. And it's just a couple chords here, a little dynamics that we do. A uh, couple strums on a B minor, okay? And uh, first one's short, second one's short. Okay, and then we just finish on this big uh, G minor chord here, and we just let that ring for the measure. All right, so like I said, just a couple times after the uh, the solo interlude there, and at the outro too.
Okay, on to the bass section here. We get this uh, kind of low, muffled, jazzy bass going on. Uh, cool little bass line here. Uh, we're going to jump up here to this uh, B area, of course. So we'll just start with the 7 on the E here. Okay, we'll go to 9 on the A to 7 on the D. All right, and we we'll come back up to 9 on the A, 7 on the A. All right, and then we would end up back on that seven of the E here and start the next measure of it. And the only difference the next measure will have is that once we get up to that seven on the D, we hit it twice. Okay, so it'd be. Okay, just hit that twice there and then just come back down the same way, nine to seven on the A. All right, and we would repeat those two measures at that B section. Uh, roughly six times, you know, there's usually two with no vocal and then the vocal comes in and then it goes for about four times. Okay, so slowly that'd just be something like... Okay, and you just repeat that. And after we get through that uh, appropriate amount of times, we get to the E, alright, where it switches, chord switches up to E. And all we do there is we just take what we're doing and just bring it up a set of strings. Okay, so then we're at the 7 on the A. And uh, we go 9 on the D. And then 7 on the G. Okay, then 9, 7, D. Start it over again with the 7 on the A. Hit that 9D, and then when we hit the 7 on the G, of course, we're going to do that twice. And then the 9 to 7 on the D, coming back. All right, and you go through that a couple of times. All right. Uh, next section, of course, we're just going to repeat that initial B pattern. All right, just go through that a couple of times. Uh, after we get through that, then we'll jump up to the F sharp, okay, and we're going to play that by just doing uh, the 9 on the A, okay, then we'll come up, hit the 9 on the E, okay, then 7 to 9 on the A, all right, then uh, kind of start it over again by doing 7A, and then we hit that 9 on the A to start the next measure. 9E, 7 to 9 on the A. Hit that 9 one last time on the E. Okay, this would be. Alright, now we're going to shift just down two frets basically to hit the, the E. And we'll do it this way, kind of the same style we were doing right there, but just down two frets. Okay, so 7 on the A. Alright, 7E, 5A, 7A. Okay, 5 to 7A again. And once we hit that 7A, it kind of starts it over. Okay, 7E, 5A, 7A. Alright, and then just come back and hit that uh, 5 on the A again just to fill it in. Alright, so. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. 
uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Uh, uh.